and reactions about the external world. External world of people, situations, events, objects, this external world becomes a source of distraction for me. And often becomes an obstacle to my focusing the mind upon what I want to focus. The reason is Raga and Dvesha. Attachment and aversion towards the people and things and beings of the external world. O mind, give up your expectations from the external world. O mind, give up the expectations from the people who are closely related to you. Because very often, closer the relation, greater the expectation. I give I give freedom to the people related to me, my immediate family, my relatives, my friends, my neighbors, my colleagues. I give them the freedom to be what they are. I do not make any demand that they should change for my sake. I may have complained against some people, because they may have hurt me, I give them the freedom by forgiving them. (coughs) People are what they are because that is how they are made. People have no choice in being different. I recognize that helplessness, that everybody is controlled by their nature. And their 
offer nobody as freedom. To overcome the nature. People are helpless before their nature, helpless with reference to their impulses, their emotions, their beliefs. I give them the freedom to be what they are. Because that is how they are made by Ishvara. There must be a reason why the world is what it is. I am not the only inhabitant of this world. The world is populated by billions of people and trillions of living beings with a variety of needs. And therefore, I should not expect the world always to suit me. I understand. And therefore, give freedom to the world to be what it is. At this time, I do not make any demands upon anyone. I gracefully, lovingly accept the people and the things and beings of the world. Usually other human beings create problem for me. Usually, my likes and dislikes are centered on other human beings. I give them the freedom. I let go of my expectations and demands. as to how others should be and gracefully accept them as they are. I bless them. Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha May everybody be happy. Parshan Krutva Bahir Bahyan. Let the external world remain out there. I bring it within my mind by making demands upon the world. My expectations that I have. When I 
give up the demands, give up the expectations, and gracefully, lovingly accept others as they are. as they are created by Ishara. Then there is no anger, no resentment, no complaint, no blaming, The mind thus becomes free from concern and reaction about the world outside me. Then now I can focus my attention on myself. I similarly drop my expectations from myself. I lovingly, gracefully accept myself. I gracefully accept my limitations. It is true that I am not as good as someone else. I may not be as smart, I may not be as intelligent, I may not be as good-looking, I may not be as accomplished, whatever I am. I am the creation of Ishvara. And everyone enjoys a unique place in the scheme of things. I enjoy my unique place. I do not have to conform to the expectations of others. Because Ishvara has made me what I am. I gracefully, lovingly accept my limitations. Bodily limitations and limitations of mind. My limitations of grasping. My limitations of retaining. My limitations of recollecting. My limitations of expressing. All those limitations of the mind, I gracefully accept. It is quite in order to be what I am, because that is how I 
have been created by Ishvara. Ishvara, in his infinite wisdom, has created this body, has created this mind, has created this intellect. And therefore, they are in order. I am in order as I am. The world is in order as it is. And I am in order as I am. Everything is in order as it is. If I give up my habit of seeking to change, it has become my habit to change the world, to change myself. If for the moment I give up that tendency to demand change from the world or change in myself, then I am poised to appreciate everything as it is. If I appreciate things with a non-demanding mind, with a mind that is gracefully accepting, a mind that is lovingly accepting, If I see the world with that mind, I see that everything is in order. If I see myself with that mind, then I see that I am also in order as I am. In fact, what there is, is order. It is the order, the harmony, the wholeness, which is manifest as the world. The same harmony, wholeness, is manifest as myself. Just as there is water in all the waves, so also there is harmony, order, asti, bhati, priyam. There's a content of everything. Just as water is a content of all the waves, water is manifest as all the waves. So also the order, the harmony, the wholeness, asti bhati priyam, that alone is manifest as this world, that 
alone is manifest as a self. The world consisting of the subject and object is nothing but one whole. Pura Madha, Pura Vidam, Adaha, the subject, is Pura. Idam, the object, is also Pura. Everything is completely in order as it is. No change is called for anywhere. The mind becomes non-demanding, not seeking change. It is in the present. A mind that does not make any demands, a mind that does not seek any change, is in the present. And the present is nothing but consciousness. The present is nothing but silence. The present is nothing but wholeness. Shidananda Rupa Shivoham Shivoham Shidananda Rupa Shivoham What is, is Chit Consciousness. What is, is Ananda, Wholeness, Completeness. What is, is Shiva. silent, ever pure, ever untainted. Ch- 